And here it brings it over into a new uh, SQL tuning session. At this point I'm going to hop over and show you a session that I've already created for that same block of SQL. So here I can double click in this um, cell and I can look at the exact query that I brought in. So at this point we're going to want to generate the cases performing detail analysis, execute each generated case multiple, uh, multiple times we've selected two and then we can press this to run this. Again, I've already run this job and I'll show you exactly what I did. So here after it ran the first time, I found a session here that was actually faster, a missing join criterion. So if I hover over this, we can see this and it does indicate the result set may be altered. So here if I look, if I expand this out, we can look at some of the execution statistics and here we can see that the initial rows return were 40. This rewrite is only going to bring back 10. I know this because I've written the query and I purposely put in a Cartesian join that this is indeed the case. And if I double click the rewrite written statement, we can see here that we had a fourth table, office location table, and I did not have in the original a where clause for the join and DB Optimizer in one of its many rewrites that it did, it performed, it caught this by way of looking at the referential integrity defined on the database and found that there was a column that it could be joined on. So again, hopping back, here's the original one and we'll see that there is no where clause to join A and D, but in the rewrite there certainly was. So there, there it is there. So that DB Optimizer found that for us. It also goes through and looks at various hints that can be applied. Here if I look at this rewrite, we've got this um, index hint that DB Optimizer identified and generated that as a case. And graphically we can see which um, rewrites, which cases resulted in beneficial results and which ones resulted in negative results. So we can quickly visually uh, see um, what options we have. So at this point I wanted to really see how this rewrite stood up. So I went ahead and right click and I said clone the case. So at this point it created a new case which dropped it right up here for me and what I did was I right click and rename the case. And I renamed the case instead of select to it renamed it, I renamed it to Cartesian join fix. Here I'm going to rename this one then to the original query. So there we go. We have these matched up. So at this point I executed them again. So that not only did it execute the first query but it executed the second. And we could see here exactly what it did. So in all the multiple rewrites we, we found some improvements in the first one which was one of the queries that I based my Cartesian join fix on. So here as I go down through the second set which I'm really interested in because this is the query that I'm after now we can see if there's any ways to improve the performance and really I can pretty much stick with the original rewrite and be pretty confident that I've got the best case so in this situation in, in this pane of the of the tuning wizard I've stepped through and I've executed the cases let it do the detail analysis and generated all the cases so how, how can I take it a step further and even be more comfortable and confident with the cases that DB Optimizer created for me. We do that by selecting the analysis tab. So in this tab we have our query that we're looking at on the left side. On the right side is our visual SQL tuning diagram. And this is DB Optimizer is the only tool in the market where you're going to find this approach to modeling and mapping queries. It, we're, we're, we decompose the query and then we bring it back together using our visual SQL tuning diagram to get you to provide you a different view of the query versus just a normal explain plan. Here we can select the statements of interest. You'll see it has my original query and the Cartesian join fix. Within each one we can drop this down and look at the different rewrites the different cases that DB Optimizer created and see the visual SQL tuning diagrams for those as well. In the bottom pane we're going to see the index analysis, the table statistics, the column stats and histograms and then the outlines if there's any stored outlines being used. So here to quickly look we'll hover over broker location and select that and it's in green so it tells us this index is used by the database optimizer when we run this statement. So we'll know this index is used 
and we can select another one that's in blue and this lets us know that it's defined on a column and it could be used depending on what the predicate is and then last section the gray and those are indexes that are in the database but have no effect on the statement execution if we look at table statistics we can see here how many days since the stats were taken and other pieces of data as well then we can look at the column stats and histograms and then we can look at any outlines so here we have this visual SQL tuning diagram really quick we can see that we referenced a view so if I double click on the view that breaks it out not only does it break it out on the right hand side but in the left pane it tells us and shows us where it's being referenced if we want to go further in and look at the individual subqueries we can look at this subquery was against the client transaction table and there are the columns that are being referenced if I bring it in over here we can look at the the end clause the subselect and see what table and what columns it's referencing so here we can see in this ta in this visual SQL tuning diagram that we have two separate queries almost being executed. We have one here with the three table join, actually two table and a view, and then a query here all by itself. And that's it alerts us to to maybe needing a little bit further um, dive and further analysis into this. And you'll see quickly that when I look at my Cartesian join fix, all right, we can see now that all the objects all the nodes within this query are all joined together by different by different means by different relationships but again they're all joined together which is what's the important takeaway here we can also show ratio and counts within DB Optimizer so here we've calculated the ratios and the row counts that we're referring to and as we move up we want to keep that uh, the low running row count we have seven in here and we move up to 23 and then we jump up when we start joining the client transaction table so again ways to to look at the different nodes and really drill in and understand how the query is being processed by using the visual SQL tuning diagram within DB optimizer so again I can drop this and look at the, the various generated cases if I take a step back to the, the tuning job I want to go ahead and do a new one for you and I just wanted to make sure that that I covered this so file new and tuning job so here we have a blank palette a blank and um, slate if you will for a tuning job so at this point I want to highlight this we have ways to bring and generate the the details for this new SQL tuning job so first we can do SQL text which is exactly what I did in this example and that was just simply cut and paste in we can extract it from a database object and this is one that's really interesting we can go ahead and parse through a stored procedure and pull out all the select statements that we as a tool can manipulate and generate cases for and possibly show you rewrites so that way you can parse through that stored procedure that may be slow and we often find that when we dig in we realize that the stored procedure is getting a bad rap for um, the slowness of really one query so by speeding up and optimizing the single query we've we've solved the problem of that slow performing stored procedure we can import the file from a workspace or from a file system or we can scan the Oracle SGA to take a real-time look at what's happening in the SGA and then tune from there so if I step back to the jumpstart tuning job the last thing I want to talk about is what we've been added for this fee for this release the XC3 release was our export report so here I can generate an export report and we'll call this the jumpstart tuning report and I'm going to include both the original query and the Cartesian fix. We'll put it in PDF and we'll send it to my desktop. So the creation of the report's finished. We'll go visit my desktop. And here is my jumpstart tuning report. We'll open that up and we can see the detailed report. So at this point, as a database developer, I've written my query or written my store procedure, gone through and let e let DB Optimizer optimize each query that I'm responsible for. I can go ahead and run it through the tuning job and create a tuning report. And with that, then I have the evidence that I've taken the due I've done the due diligence to to ensure that my query is as optimized as I can make it, both from with my individual background and my knowledge, as well as a tool, a DB Optimizer and what it was able to do so again I can take this report save it off I can send it to my DBA 
uh, with along with the query or the database uh, store procedure that I'd like to be created just for extra validation. So that's our tuning report new in this version of DB Optimizer XE3. 